Hey guys, Mars Singer here, bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video, and so completely unexpected, we just had a producer letter drop on Global that has a lot of very crazy, very big, important information about the future of the game, involving not only some of the details of the plans for the sink, although not a huge amount here, um, but as well as some very, very interesting developments, as I'm sure you will see, will probably be part of the title. A pity system is actually coming to Dokkan. Uh, I don't think I don't think any of us thought this would actually ever happen. Now, before everyone goes too crazy, um, we'll get to the details. It is a pity system for yellow coin banners only so far, but I guess we'll see exactly how this develops. So this is a roadmap that they're showing here. So we've just had Carnival uh, featured characters, standby skills, um carnival was like last year right we got you can see here seventh anniversary all the way to tenth anniversary so we've got the seventh anniversary we had the first legendary summon carnival before the eighth anniversary where we got standby skills then we got the domain we've had dokon original animations for the two units from the worldwide celebration then you can see here it says ninth anniversary on the way to the tenth anniversary it says new tweaks and feats planned for the 10th anniversary, unification of the JP and international version operation schedule period to be determined. However, that box is squarely placed above the 10th anniversary highlighted in gold. So I can assume this means at the very latest, the 10th anniversary will be synced. I know a lot of us want to see the sync happen for the 9th anniversary, but let's go ahead and play this here. Um, 昨年の全世界同時キャンペーンで初登場した祭り限定キャラクターや、そう、フィーチャードカーニバルキャラクターや、そう、フィーチャードカーニバルキャラクターや、そう、フィーチャードカーニバルキャラクターや、そう、フィ
collect enough legendary coins and you can get the unit guaranteed. So the big question is going to be, how many coins do you get? How many stones do you actually have to spend to get the new unit? That is the, going to be the most important thing. I don't know if they say, I haven't watched this at all either. I'm literally thrown this onto record. So I wonder how many stones you will have to use. So yeah, it just says, make it easy to get the new character. Look forward to the revamped legendary summon. So it doesn't say exactly. So events being held. Okay, so this is going to be about this celebration, right? Yeah, this won't be anything like super interesting. So the growth missions for the Turles celebration, obviously we know about these, these are in-game now. And then the final news of the day, second half of October, which will be coming up soon, a limited time special version of the Turtle School event will be available. Okay. Did this happen on JP? And I just don't remember. The boss will be, oh, the boss will be launched all the time. So that means a free Kai, you get some extra, is it Hercule statues? And you complete it on hard, you get three dozing Kais. Oh, wait, yeah, no, yeah, that's if you do it on hard. If you do it on Z hard, you get an Elder Kai. So it'll be guaranteed launch runs on the uh, Turtle School training. And that's all for today. So there you go. So the big takeaway, um, as always, we'll do our best to meet your expectations. Man, I wonder, even after this announcement, I wonder how crazy people are going to go in the survey for the worldwide celebration. Yeah, there's nothing else there. Because, like, a lot of people were very disappointed with aspects of the worldwide celebration. But I feel like this is at least a gesture of goodwill, like, in the right direction, right? I feel like if people start going crazy in the survey for the worldwide, like, complaining about worldwide, saying they didn't listen to people's feedback about, like, the name of Fusions of Masu and stuff like that. Um, I mean, those are relevant points, but... If they really are adding in pity because of the feedback from players, like that is pretty awesome. Um, so my takeaway from this is you can see here we are basically the new characters have come out. Then we have the ninth anniversary. Now, they didn't mention it's actually interesting because there's a bit where he says about the two next anniversaries. Right. So this part here. Yeah, there's no better time than now to explain what the future holds for the next two anniversaries. But then he doesn't actually say anything and then just says we can't talk about the 10th anniversary. So they didn't actually say anything about the 9th anniversary. So obviously the, the hopium is that the sync is actually going to include the 9th anniversary. But I feel like with the way this roadmap has been drawn out, like the fact that the unification thing is right above the uh, 10th anniversary. I mean, we would assume it would be synced by a year from now, right? So potentially the next worldwide celebration. But I wonder if the 9th anniversary is going to be included in the sync plans. But then, of course, the other big thing here, which just really is like crazy. Um, I guess I can mute this and play it so we get these like progress bars out of the way. But yeah, the fact that the craziest thing, we are going to have a pity system on yellow coin LR banners. So some yellow coin LRs, I mean, I still don't think Int uh, Spirit Bomb Goku is necessarily worth summoning for. But imagine if this was a thing in the game when like STR Bulma came out. Right. So like basically everyone could just get Bulma because of this. Well, I say everyone again. We need to know how many stones it is. Right. Because if it's like 2000 stones or something, then obviously not everybody is just going to be getting these new LRs. Because I mean, even me. Right. Especially depending on how crazy part one of a celebration was. Doesn't mean I'm going to have 2000 stones to drop in part two. Um, but this is definitely a big change in the right direction. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Are you excited about this? This does mean, because he literally says the legendary banner coming up this month, and this is the global producer layer. So that means this feature will be in play for the Int Spirit Bomb Goku banner, which is pretty awesome. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.